At this time, we have Oregon. Uh, for Oregon, we have head coach Mike White, uh, student athlete Gwen Savekis, uh, student athlete Nikki Udrea, uh, student athlete Megan Callis. Uh, coach, we'll start with general comments about the game to open up for questions. Yeah. Um, obviously, it, uh, it's a game that comes down to inches and, uh, you know, uh, or opportunities, especially, and uh, they made the most of their opportunities, and, and we squandered some of ours. Um, I think they played a, a pretty sharp game um, in all three facets uh, offensively. The, obviously, pitching is pretty gritty performance by Alvelo. Um, and, uh, you know, we were close. We just couldn't quite get it done. Um, you know, just some mistakes here and there, some uh, base running errors. Um, and a few other things, uh, you know, I'll take uh, the blame for that stuff. Uh, we need to be better prepared to be able to play at this level. And uh, we just didn't get it done. Uh, we've got to come out and uh, and do better against the pitcher we've seen for the fourth time this year. All right, want to open up for questions? Uh, Coach, you were talking about some of the base run errors. Um, in the fourth and fifth inning, it looked like you tried to pick up the aggression on the offensive side. Just what was your, I guess, your thinking going into those, especially those two innings? Yeah, um, it's, a, it's a difficult thing to answer because um, uh, a couple of them were missed signals and they weren't supposed to go, you know. So you, know, you hate to divert the blame to your players. But, you know, like I said, that becomes blame for me for them not knowing how to, to read the signals. And, uh, you know, one was, a, one was a gutsy read, one was a change-up read, um, and she has the green light to steal. So that's, that was different, but another one was a, was a missed signal. So... Um, you know, and, and our, our motto all year has been put pressure on the offense, on the defense, and uh, by using players moving and everything else. So the, some of the other plays we pulled were just normal plays that didn't quite work out. Um, but you know, uh, uh, you know, defensively, that's a very good team out there. And uh, I mean, I, I think the one uh, one bunt we had over the top there, the shortstop took it at second base. I mean, that thing, you know, three feet either way, we got first and second, nobody out. But like I said, it's a game of inches. Things didn't quite work out our way, but. We didn't execute very well either. Scott Wright with the Oklahoman, uh, Nikki and and Gwen. Uh, when you were getting runners on, but but not getting opportunities to move them around, did did you feel like hitters were getting frustrated or uh, pressing at all, or was it was it just uh, just not being able to capitalize? Nikki, um, I just felt like we we didn't. We weren't aggressive at the right times. I think we waited a little bit too long to get to get going and put that pressure on them. So um, I'd like to see us come out um, on Saturday just uh, ready to go. I felt like it took us a long time to get going today. Go ahead. Um, I didn't feel like we were pressing at any point. Um, I think we've done a great job all year of last. We're not done. In t we're not out until the the last pitch of the last inning. So um, I didn't feel like we were pressing. But like Nikki said, we just we didn't get the clutch hits. Um, we didn't get the runners in when we had them in scoring position. That's just what it came down to. Uh, Michael Kenny, uh, Register Guard. Megan, can you just talk about, obviously, this is a team that you've played against a lot this year. How much does that change, I guess, the mindset going into a game when it's someone that you've faced that many times? Uh, I mean, I don't really think the mindset really changes. Um, Coach White said before the game that um, seeing them the fourth time, you can kind of use to your advantage. Um, kind of know the weakness of each hitter and everything, and I just didn't capitalize on those big pitches in the right times. Are there any other questions? Mike, John McKelvey with the Norman Transcript. I want to ask about, obviously, the confrontation um, between the pitcher and your hitter. Um, was there a history there, or was that just kind of the passions of the World Series getting, getting the best of the players? You know, that's, a, that's a good question to ask between the two of them. But, um, you know, they did both play on the same club team and uh, yeah, actually against each other in high school. And Jenna had very good success off of her. So, obviously, her mindset was to come inside, um, you know, but be hit twice like that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know where the pitches were. The umpire has the best view. So, you know, that was the question I had for him. If he thought it was intentional, then he should uh, say something. But um, I certainly hope it wasn't intentional. You know, But, you know, it's a close ball game. I don't think it would be. She was just trying to come inside, you know, um, but I, I don't think there was any bad blood there, no. All right. If no more questions, uh, Oregon plays on Saturday at 1.30 p.m. Coach, uh, ladies, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-stale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. 
the next time you buy a bag, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.